What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of a kill squad, giving you lots of tips and tricks for this current meta which has been changed massively due to the introduction of Siege Machines. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of my attack strategy videos, showcasing some of Red Elite's latest war attacks with you today. This first one coming in from the western side of the base with the kill squad and notice how deeply we push with this kill squad that's one thing guys that recently you can do a lot more effectively because of the introduction of siege, siege machines you can get very deep into the base and take out all of the troublesome defenses check out this one before the hog riders even come in we've already taken out both inferno towers the enemy queen the enemy cc all of the wizard towers pretty much anything that would be troublesome for the hog riders then we just have that small group of hog riders for the back end of the base now i'm not saying this is the only way to do it guys there's obviously a lot of different ways you can think about this it really does depend on the base layout it's always that general cliche however we're going to show you a few different attacks with varying kill squads but what you will see from this is that you should be trying to gain more value than you did prior to the siege machines even if you're not putting more troops into it you should be trying to get that little bit deeper with the kill squad basically because you can you have the siege machine to help you with tankage to get your troops to where you need to you don't have to use as many spells if you're using that wall wrecker which most of the time i would recommend that is going to be your go-to in terms of the kill squad to be honest guys and you should be trying to get more value than you did previously that goes without saying but often you can put very minimal troops into the kill squad and still take out a huge section of the base irrespective of what town hall level you're going in obviously the siege machines are town hall 10 and above but you definitely can be doing this at either town hall 10 11 or 12 it doesn't matter again Funneling troops go in, the baby dragons in order to set up the funnel, just so that actually once the war wrecker has opened the base, the heroes and bowlers are in fact going to go in there exactly where we want them to. As they press forward, they're already taking out a huge section of the base here. You can see Inferno Tower goes down, Wizard Towers are going down, Enemy CC is gone, and the Enemy Queen is up in that area as well, depending on the attack strategy, but most of the time, you want to be taking out the Queen and the CC. You can see how the entire northern area of the base is down, another Wizard Tower falls, and then it's just Hog Riders circling around the base, and again, you can see the pathing that they're going to take, in from that west side, down to the south, and then kind of looping up to where the heroes are now. But just think about how much value Jenny got here out of that kill squad. It was massive from the top of the base, really just with a couple of troops, then baby dragons to set the funnel, a couple of bowlers, and other than that, it was heroes and the siege machine that got the job done. The rest of the attack was the hog riders. She could really focus on that, and that is what's helping that success rate, especially at Town Hall 10, being able to use that kill squad. So definitely, guys, if you've never really understood, and I'm assuming that most of the people that are watching my channel, your competitive players, you know what a kill squad is, but anyone that is watching this that hasn't necessarily put a lot into kill squads previously, you definitely should be looking at it now and trying to implement it. Again, similar thing here by Aki, one of our core cool leaders in Red Elite. Massive shout out to him. He helps out on my Discord server a lot as well gets that funnel created with the baby dragon, siege machine comes in, notice how he brings a golem in front of it, that's something that also you want to be thinking about, the wall wrecker, yes we're talking about using it as tankage, which is obviously great, but actually the primary focus is to get through them walls, so taking a golem can make sure you get further into the base and access the defences and objectives that you need to get. So again you can see them primary objectives are the enemy queen, the enemy archer queen, um, 
the enemy CC, sorry, the enemy queen and the enemy archer queen. Imagine that, two of them in a base. How OP would that be? Gets through towards them inferno towers as well. And then again, you can see exactly where the hog riders will go. We've carved that pathing out. That's another major thing, which is kind of going to happen. No matter what angle you come in from, you are going to carve that pathing for the hog riders, but you do have to think about that pathing as well and how they are going to path. You can see how coming down to the bottom here, they actually go over that troll Tesla area next to the town hall, but obviously we're prepared for that. We have the heal spells in to take that area down. And then again, we say it every video, but make sure you're thinking about that cleanup as well. We have the wizards on the back end there. Once the hog riders are in, the, t the defenses are down in that area. So the wizards aren't going to be targeted. Get them in guys, nice and early. They're then going to help with cleanup do not want to fail because you've left a builder hut in the corner or something like that we've all had it it is a nightmare but certainly try not to let that be yourself let's move on to the next one then two attack strategies left again showing the importance of them kill squads now i wanted to bring you this one by tin man because a queen walk or a queen charge in essence is part of a kill squad you're actually still bringing in a small amount of troops initially albeit the queen and healers in order to take out a section of the base or some objectives you don't have to enter the base itself you can take out them defenses on the perimeter so in this case once the funnel is set and we want the queen to walk up to the north in she comes alongside the healers and the grand warden we're basically going to let her do what she does best no guys not batter against a wall she's going to walk around the base here take out some of the defenses ultimately she's setting up a funnel here but also as we've mentioned taking out some objectives taking out some defenses we then bring the wall wrecker in in order to help the queen get in we have the giants there to help to tank alongside a couple of bowlers in that area and then the main army actually comes in from the west here the queen merges in so the kill squad merges in with the main army on this one and just think about that guys it doesn't always have to be a small amount of troops pressing into the base itself a queen walk and a queen charge do not forget about that technique it has been you know many people's go-to strategies for a number of months and even years so don't forget about that as part of your kill squad as well as you can see once we get the ballers into the middle here which following that queen walk we did very well the spells on top of the bowlers just help them to power right the way through the base. I mean, this is absolute destruction, to be honest. And then when you get to them final few defenses, you've done the attacks so efficiently. You don't really have to pre-plan all of them stuff at the end. You just know you're going to have more than enough troops to get through these defenses. Look, a couple of Teslas in the corner aren't going to do anything to 25 bowlers moving through the base here. It is just an annihilation. But again, I wanted to show you that one to basically remind you about the kill squad in terms of the queen charge, queen walk. It is a method that you can think of. Make sure that you are indeed taking that into account as well. Again, massive shout out to Michael, another one of our core leaders. Got a six pack in this war. And check out the kill squad he brings. Very similar to Aki, brings in that golem in order to get a little bit further tank for this wall wrecker because we basically need to get through to the queen here. And look at how deep she is. We are pretty much pressing from one side of the base to the other. And all of these defenses, it might have been a bit tricky to get through into that compartment. Wall wrecker goes down now, but obviously we are where we need to be. But just to make sure we had that golem initially, again, we have the heroes. At Town Hall 11, you've got an advantage over Town Hall 10 in that you have the Grand Warden. The ability helped our kill squad get so much more. So you've got to weigh up your options. Is the Grand Warden, if you haven't checked out my Grand Warden video from a couple of days ago, make sure you go and check that out in terms of when to use the Grand Warden. But again, like I was saying, you need to be thinking about when is actually most beneficial to use it. If you use it on the kill squad, you might not necessarily have to put as many troops into that because you can use that tome. Or are your hog riders or lava loon or whatever you're going to use, is that going to run into a really dangerous area in the base where that tome would be absolutely vital? 
For example, a maxed out Town Hall 12 Giga Tesla might indeed need that Grand Warden's Tome. So you need to be thinking about that, but again, it can enable you to get that little bit further with Kill Squads. And I know I haven't really gone into depth about what exactly you want to do with the kill squad in terms of if you're a beginner you might not necessarily understand absolutely everything i'm saying here i am thinking about going back to my basics guide and redoing the whole series pretty much because it's been quite a while since i did them videos things have changed a little bit but hopefully you guys can see from this the importance and how it is effective now with the siege machine to push that little bit deeper with your kill squad you should at least be trying to do that guys make sure to let me know in the comments your experiences what's happened to your kill squad following the siege machines i'm pretty sure it's going to be similar to our experiences but that wraps it up for this one i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out